What's up guys? The Electro 9 here and today we're doing a Chucky video. I know I don't usually do these kind of videos because I'm more of a gamer or a vlogger or I kind of show you guys what I have but today we have something so freaking cool. I'm kind of doing an Edgar O type video so if you guys like this kind of stuff go subscribe to his channel. His channel will be down in the description. Also his Instagram. Go follow him on Instagram. Uh, the House of Nightmares. Anyway guys. So I got a lot of stuff that I have not been updating you guys on because I wanted to get all this together. I wanted my, my collection back here to grow so big, it's ungodly. So usually this is what it looks like, but this is some new stuff that I haven't shown you guys and I found out one of them is fake. Someone already owns this and this is just a print of what someone owns and I'm pretty sure you guys can see what I'm talking about now. Um, anyways, I wanted to start small and this is actually a Funko Pop that came out not too long ago, and it is the Good Guys Child's Play 2, just normal Chucky, but with the knife hidden behind his back. Look at that, that is so cool. Links will be down in the description for these online, if I can find them, because recently I've, these things have been disappearing, like it's really hard to find them for some reason. But this is a Hot Topic exclusive, and I, I'm just so happy to get this, because as you can tell, I collect anything Chucky, including the Funko Pops, and they came out with the big, I think it's a 10 inch, 12 inch, one of the 15, it's something like that, but it's huge. And I, I can't wait to get my hands on it. Anyways guys, so I heard about the new things coming out for Spirit Halloween, and my Spirit Halloween recently opened, so I had a chance to go and shop with this new bag that they came out with. It is the Good Guys Tote Bag. Um, they have little, the Child's Play 2 knife, um, some scissors, the Good Guys handle, but for some reason it says Chucky. Um, and then the original Good Guy doll from Child's Play 2? Two? 2. Child's Play 2. On this side, it has the little sweater. And then on the back, it just the repeat of the print. Some black handles. And in the bottom is just solid black. And there's nothing on the inside except for something else that I got from Spirit Halloween, which was this little candy mint thing. Um. Not anything too serious, but you know. One thing I did notice that nobody's reviewing this. No one's reviewing this online, which is blowing my mind because I found out something about this which makes this even more cool. You guys ready for this? These are sour candy and they're little knives. You can see that, but they're little butcher knives. How crazy is that, yo? They're sour. The other thing I bought from Spirit, this isn't new. This isn't something that, you know, came out this year. This is actually, I think this came out last year? Or the year before? Um, I don't even know. I don't even know if there's not a year on this. But I know it's a Spirit Halloween. Uh, but it's a Chucky candy bowl. Even though they are advertising it with popcorn for some reason. I don't know, but if you guys want to see what this looks like out of the box, this is what it looks like when it's all set up. It's actually pretty freaking cool. He's tiny though. He's very tiny and I've noticed that there's metal or something on the bottom because he's not like a hard, it's like hollow plastic, but the bottom is solid for some reason. So I'm assuming it's either metal or concrete or something, but his clothes are real and that's what sold it for me. And also the bowl does come off, so you can clean it. It's pretty freaking cool! Here's another close look. He's even got his little knife there. I just think it's neat. Here's the back, just in case you guys want to see the back. And the shoes. I like him. I like him. He sits up there, but I like him. Next is the socks. The socks that they came out with this year, I think this year? Uh, you guys can tell me down below if this came out this year. I don't know, I've never seen these socks before until this year. Um, they're the Chucky socks made by Character C Collections, Universal Studios. They're pretty cool. They're little Chucky socks. Pretty sweet. I'm not opening them. They're just gonna hang on my wall. I'm not opening these at all. I'm not good at these kind of videos. <laughs> now, I'm not big into, you know, signatures or anything like that, but I do have my fair share of stuff that's signed. And this is signed by Mike Norris, Detective Mike from Child's Play 1. 
His signature is right here. I have to get a glass box for this, and there's actually still some cereal inside. Haven't, hasn't been opened. Still sealed. But the reason why I'm bringing this out is because I came across this. A counterfeit. This is fake. This is 100% fake. Because I've seen this photo before. I've seen this exact signature on Google. And they sold it to me for $15? $20? I don't, I don't remember how much they were trying to... It was ridiculous. Because he tried to say that it was real. <sighs> I'm not stupid. But, uh... Supposedly a signed by Alex, Vincent, Andy, Friends to the End, Chucky. But it's obviously fake because uh, if you look really closely, you can see that it's, I mean, I, you can't tell on camera, but you can see that it's printed and it's not real. I'll even take it out to prove it. Like, I'm not, I, I know it's not real. It's just a printed photo of a signature. But, I mean, I know, I think they're, the person, if you do own this real photo and you're seeing this video, yeah, it's not, it's not real. This isn't, I care too less about this photo. Like, I care uh, squat about it because I've seen that exact photo printed off on Google and I'm probably going to use this for something even better than that. Probably the real signature. I could put this in. That'd be cool. But yeah, I have the signed cereal box. And that's a real signature. But because I didn't open this, your friend, the Electro 9, stopped by FYE. We don't have one where I am from, so I had to travel two hours away. And I got myself some things from there. One of them is another cereal box. Why? So I can open it and actually eat the cereal this time. Should I do a video on this? Let me know down in the description. I'll do a video eating and giving my honest review on the cereal. The other things I got from FYE, if you guys were curious, was this beautiful, oh my god, I'm so happy I got this. I'm actually gonna buy another one, because this one's a little bit damaged, but it's the Child's Play 2 FYE exclusive Funko Pop combo, eh, eh, words. Um, it comes with a t-shirt, that says, sorry Jack, Chucky's back. It also comes with the Funko Pop figure inside. But I'm not going to open this one because I haven't got the other one yet. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to get another one yet. But when I do, I will do a opening unboxing of this. But till then, it's going to stay on my shelf like this. So here's the top, Child's Play 2. You have the hammer and stuff, the baseball, The Western, the photo I showed you, and on the bottom it's just blue with the details. So that's pretty cute. Cool. <sighs> this last object I got, I am so happy I got this. And I'm not going to let, it is in perfect condition. I am not letting this go out of my sight ever. And I'm so happy I've been trying to find this and I finally got it. Oh my God. It is the Child's Play original 1988 record from FYE, the exclusive. And uh, I'm not opening it. Well, you know what? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna remove the plastic just for you guys so we can unbox it together so you guys can see and I can see the confines of this. How do I open it? Oh, there's a tear right here. Okay, well, I'm glad I'm opening it anyway because there's an opening anyway already. Oh my gosh, yo, hold on. All I'm doing is removing the plastic and I'm actually excited. Oh my God, okay, 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 you guys ready? Uh, Edgar already did a, a reveal, but I want you guys to see what I'm fixing to see. Yo! Oh, oh, yo, what? Wait. Stop! Yo, that is so sick! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! Okay, so as you guys can see, it's all good guys except for this guy. He's the evil. He's Chucky. The rest of them are Tommy's, but he's Chucky. So, here's one of the records. I think this is the good guy one. This is side A. Is it the good guy? Yes, this is the good guy one. Okay, 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 okay. 
Oh. Oh. My. God. What? Yo, this is it. Oh my God. That is such a cool blue. Look at that. Okay. Okay, this is cool. But let me get the other one out. Cause that's the, the, the supposedly this is the nice one. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. Wait, I'm trying not to tear the, wait. Stop what you're doing, hold the phone. You guys, this is so sick. It's see-through, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like totally see-through. But it makes it look like there's blood. Yo, this is insane. Especially up to the light, this is incredible. I'm gonna try and get it to where you guys can see it. Look at that. Yo, what? I'm blown away. You guys are probably looking at me like, really, it's just, it's just a record. No, this isn't, this is, this is, this is part of Chucky. The Chucky collect, this is a collectible. Look at that. What? It looks like there's blood all over it and it's see-through. So it looks like there's blood inside of it. So you guys remember when I got this. This, you guys already knew, I've showed this in a video before. It's the good guys painting from, it's more like a print. I don't know who it's from. At Silver Buffalo, New York. So that's who made this. At least that's the Instagram I see. So that's who made this. I found this at a store. It was called Second and Charles. Well, I went to Spirit Halloween and they actually came out with one like this, but it looks like this. And I actually wanted to talk about this one because there's some things that a lot of people aren't noticing that I want to bring to light. First off, you can tell it's a little more shinier. There's a lot more gloss to it. This one is more of a matte, as you can see. That's one thing I picked up from this, which is really neat. It's the same photo as this one. It's just torn and it has a picture of the Bride of Chucky face. And another thing I wanted to point out was the Child's Play 3, I think Child's Play 2 or Child's Play 3. I think they're both Child's Play 3. I know for sure this is the Child's Play 3 face behind the scissors. I don't know if you guys can see the faces behind the scissors, but there's the Bride of Chucky face behind the, the knife, uh, the Child's Play 3 behind the scissors, and either Child's Play 3 or 2 behind the, uh, the hammer. Yeah, this was made by the same person, I believe. Yep, Silver Buffalo. What's up, guys? Please bear with me. I am slacking so hard. It's been so long since I've recorded a video like this, but I actually have four other stuff that I forgot to show you that I added to my collection. So let's just keep this video going, shall we? So the next thing we have <laughs> are these glass shot glasses. Now, they're not in their original packaging because I've used them. I actually use them even to this day. I use them to store stuff back here while displaying them. They keep little things like, they hold my little Chucky. I, I keep them in there. Or SD cards. I'll go ahead and show you each individual one. I'm not sure, I can't remember who makes them. And here is the Child's Play, another Child's Play 3 one from another scene. There you go, it says, Hi, I'm Chucky, wanna play Child's Play. Obviously, it's not from Child's Play, it's from Child's Play 3. Here is the one from Child's Play 2, and it says, Sorry Jack, Chucky's back. Just the basic billboard from Child's Play 2. Nothing on the back, just nothing on the bottom either. And here's the last one, uh, the Seed of Chucky, Get a Load of Chucky, Eye Shot Glass. And these are all glass. These, these are all glass. They're like glass, so they, they can break, so you gotta be careful with them. I'm not sure if I showed you this yet, because I haven't went back and watched my videos, but I have the, I'm not sure if this was Hot Topic exclusive or what, because I don't see it anywhere else. But um, I just know I found this at Hot Topic, and I picked it up. I don't even know if it's my size. It is my size, but I'm never gonna open it. And it's really cool. It's a little Chucky Funko within the little TV. It's part of the TV tees. That's the back, that's what the t-shirt looks like. 
and you can display your little Funko Pop inside of it. And I don't think it comes with a Funko Pop though. That's what sets it apart from this one. So now I literally have both of the Funko Pop boxes, shirts, box shirts, I guess you can say. Uh, vote down in the description. Tell me guys, which one do you guys like out of these two? Do you like this one more that comes with the Funko Pop figure? Or do you like this one? The bloody good guy doll with the knife. The knife actually from Child's Play 1. So which one do you guys like? Last but not least, you guys have seen this in the background of my videos. It's literally been right there this entire time, but I have not done a video on it. Because everybody's done a video on it talking about, I don't like it. I don't... If this came out when I was a child, we didn't have the Trick or Treat Studios dolls, and we didn't have people making them custom made. We only had the Dream Rush that cost like $2,000. Or you just had to make one yourself. And if this came out when I was a kid, I wouldn't have complained. I would have bought it. It's the Spirit Halloween Static Good Guy doll, or their version of it. Um, it's literally, you guys have seen it all over the internet. It's literally just a good guy doll. But it's from Spirit Halloween. A lot of people complain about the face. And I see what they're complaining about, but stop it. There's no reason to complain. At least companies are making this stuff for us, you know? Like, they, they're hearing us, they're making it for us. Sure, they're not giving it all they got, but they're giving as much as they know to give us. At least as much as they can. Spirit Halloween did a really good job with this one. So I have literally no complaints for the price. Yeah, I'll, matter of fact, I'll take it out for- I got something to show you guys, actually. Now, I haven't done my research at all. Why is it that my doll has, and I've noticed that everybody's doll has this, it's just a piece of fabric covering it. Was there supposed to be a speaker in here? Because... Um... Something tells me there was supposed to be a speaker in this. Now I don't know if it's, they, they just ran out of time, but uh, this would have been cool if this also talked. But I get it. That probably made a lot of you cringe, I'm sorry. It was cheaper than my Trick or Treat Studios doll, so if you can get your hands on this, and you can't buy a Trick or Treat Studios doll, Go for this, guys. It's literally, it's it's a good guy doll. It's a good guy doll. There's no reason for people to complain. You get a good guy doll! Don't you want one? Anyways, guys, but yes, to go into further detail, yes, it has the good guy's markings on the bottom. As you guys can see. It has the footprint, and it also has the lace look to it. It's, it's, it's... They're poseable. You just have to work with it. It's stiff wire. The hands are also posable. So, I mean, hey, $90 and you can do this, $80, however much it is now, that's a steal. Okay guys, so that's the last thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, this is the third time of me doing this outro. How are you guys doing? Please give this video a like and a thumbs up. It'll help me out a lot. Also, subscribe down below. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Only 220 away. And we'll be at 10,000 subscribers. Guys, please, let's get there. Let's get there. Come on. I know all YouTube is going to do is send me an email, but dang. I've never wanted an email so bad. <laughs> Hashtag stay electric, and I'll see you guys in the next video. When they see me pouring some more Oh, I think it's empty again Better fill it up before I go Cause I'm not gonna feel it to touch me and be me See what I see, me I'm typical Messing around with it, mix it up, go with it With it, flow with it, let it all go Oh, Lord, think you know what I'm like But you don't